You ever wonder how storage actually works on the PlayStation 5? Well, in this video, let's explain it with this flowchart. So essentially, we have the main SSD on the PlayStation 5, which is called a solid state drive. Now, you normally buy these externally, so that's what an SSD would look like externally, but there is one internally in the PlayStation 5. So in the base PlayStation 5, you get 825 gigabytes of storage. Now with that, you have a lot of data that is already pre-installed on the PlayStation 5. So realistically, you get about 650 gigabytes of storage. Forgive me if I'm wrong about this. But anyway, so this is the main part that actually stores a lot of the game data, the save game data, the system and software and upgrades, and the apps and media. But apart from that, there is the long-term like bigger files and then you have the short-term files as well so you have stuff like cache so what cache is is like short-term data that you actually can delete such as like passwords or short-term memory stuff like that you also have flash memory as well so this could be like system firmware for example and then you also have decompression processing so that is a bit more of a difficult term but basically a processor is the CPU and GPU each using their internal caches and registers to keep instructions and calculations handy. So it's a bit more advanced, this topic. And then you have your, yeah, once again, your flash memory, which is more of your system firmware. So in short, long-term storage is for games and all of the big saves. And then you have your RAM, which is how the memory sort of works as well. And then you have your flash memory, which is more for firmware storage. So that's how storage really works with the PlayStation 5 and easiest way to sort of explain it. Thank you for watching.